very cold today and it didn't warm much to warm up as much this afternoon either with this cold hanging around we have zach sharp and zach block in the studio today with your iowa forecast and national segments size on the size eyes on the sky starts right now it's wednesday night on isu tv i can't talk anymore broadcasting this is ridiculous. live from ames Island. this is size eyes on we just call like isu tv's longest running television show brings Stop. you the weather around the country in Iowa, Ames, and beyond. What are we talking about? The Iowa State Meteorology Department's team of forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Sky starts now. Welcome back. I am joined here by Zach Malak. I'm Nathan Coy. You know, Zach, it was very cold out there today. What did you think of that? It was extremely cold out there today. I mean, I was in probably three or four layers, yeah. probably even more. I saw girls covered up in scarves, hats, and everything. I mean, what, it was 35 yeah. at the highest, at maybe, I, but the wind chill was at least down to 20. Oh, we were, I think, in the upper teens, the low 20s, at least all day long. That wind was pretty gusty out there today. Cold wind, as and that's, it was. And that's the story throughout the whole entire country. We had that yeah. cold front come through, or it was early Sunday. Yes. Early Sunday or, here, and yep. throughout the country it is right now, just past the Ohio River Valley right now. And uh, those cold temps definitely affected everything in the country. It did. I mean, you know, all the way down to um, parts of Oklahoma and Texas were under freeze watches and freeze warnings. I know yeah. the other morning, Oklahoma City, I think it was actually this morning, was down to 29 degrees air temperature. For the, so that's pretty cold for them, too, at this time of year. Yeah, in New York this night's supposed to get down to 2 degrees. But that warm oh. back up all the way to 50 tomorrow. Yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of all the over rebound. the place. But, yeah, but it was that big of a cold front. I mean, the wind was yeah, it extremely is. driving behind it. Very and strong. You know, it was definitely very cold and very. I think I think it felt colder because it was 72 here on yeah. Saturday and 70s throughout all the Midwest. Yeah. So, but uh, like this, I said, this cold front is the same one that brought that when we mentioned last week that snowstorm that was in parts of Montana, mm -hmm. North Dakota, Brutus they named it. This is part of that same front. It just didn't bring us the snow some that snow, they the, got. The snowpack has increased throughout the Midwest. There's, yes, it, it has. Not mu not by much, but there is some snowpack that you can see on yep. satellite. Um, so, but northern well, Minnesota, parts yeah, of Wisconsin, North Dakota, stuff. South Dakota. Yep. So, but for now, we're going to turn it to Zach Sharp to see what Sounds he has good. to say about the Iowa weather. Thanks, Nathan. See you later, Zach. Oh, it was a smack in the face. I know you, you and I <laughs> started a day off together, and it was smack in the face as soon as you stepped it, out that door. It was bad. You know, you walk out that door at 8.30 this morning, and you knew it was there, but once you walked out that door, it was like, oh, boy, I want to go back inside. Yeah. I noticed Zach uh, noticed the girls first thing this morning, it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, it was intensely cold this morning, but for now... Take a look at the day planner. Right, sounds good. So at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning when Zach steps out to check out those girls here, you can expect a 20-degree temperature. When around noon for lunchtime tomorrow, it will be the sun will still be out with a 38-degree temperature. And your walk home from school tomorrow, 42, so a little warmer than today. But that sun will be out. And, Nate, I'll have your four forecast coming up after a little bit. Sounds good, Zach. Well, for right now, we're going to send it to our first commercial break. But make sure you stay tuned as our national forecast is coming up next. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. It was cold out there today. Let's see how the rest of the country is doing with this weather. Zach Malak is on the wall. It's outside. We do have a 52 in Seattle, 61 over there in San Francisco. Pretty warm down south in, in Phoenix. But as you look across the country, temps seem to be the same. You have a 39, which is one of the warmest in the Midwest. 39 in Chicago, 33 in Chicago and 25 in Minneapolis. Very cold for this night, and they're only dropping throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Highs this afternoon is 55 in Seattle, 63 in San Francisco. As we look down, the warmest part of the country was down in 82 in Miami. New York had a 65, and it is cooling down now as the cold front is reaching that area about this time. 41 was the high in Chicago, and look at that, 27 degrees was the high in Minneapolis this afternoon. Very cold for this time of year, way below average. Tomorrow's times seem to be the same story up in the north midwest. We do have that 80 in Phoenix, but like I said, the north midwest seems to be 39 in Chicago, warmer than today, uh, and also warmer than today in Minneapolis with a nice 40 degrees. St. Louis seems to be around 50, and a nice 82, pleasantly again, down there in Miami. 
as we look into the forecast for our region. Pierre looks at a 39. Uh, most of the area will be covered by clouds, partly cloudy. Kansas seems to be 54. If you do get some sun, it will be a lot warmer. The sun is still warmer this time of year, but because of the wind that came through, wind chills will be up. 40 in, Minneapolis, uh, 40 in Madison, 39 in Chicago, and 44 in Springfield. As we look into the map and radar, we do have, well, clouds and radar, we do have clearing out in the west. High pressure will build in behind this cold front. But behind me, we do have this extreme cold front going through the area right now, uh, going through the northeast right now. And we do have that cold front that will extend all the way down to, that's a bad cold front I drew, but you know, it's all right. But it will extend through there um, and create a lot of windy conditions. We do have wind that will stay behind there. And as the wind goes through, it will be quite blustery tonight into tomorrow morning as I clear that windy out of the way. We will have, hold on, we go on that side. We do have, like I said, that cold front that will extend throughout. Oh, I already missed it. Oh, well, like I said, we do have that cold front. You can tell from the rain going all the way down the Ohio River Valley that that is a cold front, and it will be a lot cooler today after that. Past 48 hours, as we looked into Terre Haute, nice 62 around there, but as you look behind me, that cold front that came through definitely made a big dive. It had a 67, 66 for the high, and it went straight down from 7 a.m. this morning, and it only warmed up to about 42, 43 degrees this afternoon. But that cold front really was a big one from last night into this morning. If you look at the future cast, we do have that cold front that will be pushing off to the east. Not much will happen, but as we look out to the west, you do have some snow up in Billings area, rain in Seattle and northern California and that will stay out of the area. You do have some clouds moving into the Midwest working its way through and it won't be that problem. As you look in the Wednesday morning, you still have slight snow up north, but not too much to worry about and a lot of clouds over the Midwest that will extend the way over to Chicago area. Slight rain down in the Florida Panhandle area and it won't be much of a problem because it will usually go out to the area. As you look in the Wednesday night, nothing again much is in the area. High pressure will extend through the Midwest creating warmer temperatures than uh, what we saw this weekend, and it will be very, very blustery out there. As we, like I said, we do have a nice 53 in Tuesday with slight rain in New York. We do have a 51 on Wednesday, 50 on Thursday, 51 on Friday, and as we go to the other side of the seven day, it does warm up, and you can see a warm up trend. Hopefully that extends its way throughout the Midwest, but it will be warming up throughout the day. So as we go back to Nathan Coy, that is your national weather. Thanks, Nate across much of the nation. And in celebration of that cold, we're gonna take a look at the trivia question right now. Trivia question is, what was the lowest temperature ever recorded in the United States? Was it A, 65 degrees below zero, B, 23.5 degrees below zero, C, 79.8 degrees below zero, or D, 87.9 degrees below zero? We will have that answer coming up after this next break. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. We're going to take a look, one more look at that trivia question for you. What was the lowest temperature ever recorded in the United States? Was it A, 65 degrees below zero, B, 23 and a half degrees below zero, C, 79.8 degrees below zero, or D, 87.9 degrees below zero? And the answer is C, a very, very cold 79.8 degrees below zero. That actually happened in Prospect Creek, Alaska, on January 23rd, 1971. No cold weather like that around here, I hope, but let's see if we have a warm up in our forecast. Zach, take the bottle. I'm sure we don't have that cold temp today, but currently outside our Studio B right now, we're sitting at 31 degrees with mostly clear skies. That winds at a west at 12 miles per hour with a 58% humidity. Taking a look at the past 48 hours, it has been really wild over the last 48 hours. Just Saturday night, we were all the way up to 76 degrees, and then that's when that sharp cold front dipped down, and we get down to 21 this morning. Taking a look at current temps across the region or metro right now, we can see Ames is sitting at 31 degrees, Carroll at 27, and Fort Dodge at a wonderful cool 28 degrees. Taking a look at temps across the state, you can see about the same. Sioux City is sitting at 30 degrees, 34 in Council Bluffs, and in the capital city as well. Taking a look at the wind chills, which has been a big factor today, you can see a whopping 22 degrees in Ames, 21 in Fort Dodge, and a very cold 14 in Mason City. So taking a look at these wind chills across the region, 
it has been pretty low across the whole area. You can see Minneapolis is at 14 degrees as a wind chill right now. Hayes just updated to 34 degrees, and Perry and South Dakota is at 24 degrees. Taking a look at clouds and radar, you can see western and central Iowa is clear right now, but if I step out of the way, you can see in northeast Iowa and up in the Wisconsin, there are some snow showers being reported. And this isn't amounting to much right now, but there is just a few flurries falling in the sky. So taking a look at future cast, you can see we're going to be under a presence of high pressure, which will keep us under clear skies throughout Tuesday afternoon. But if you can see, these clouds start to work in as a weak disturbance starts to work in the Iowa, bringing in clouds around dinner time tomorrow night. And these will stick around through Wednesday morning. And uh, by the time Wednesday afternoon rolls around, they will push out. But taking a look at tonight, you can see it's going to be mostly clear with a 20 degree with a west wind of 5 to 9, but it's going to be very chilly out there tonight. But tomorrow we warm up to 43, which was warmer than today, and it's going to be mostly clear with freezing cool winds uh, in the northwest at 6 to 11 miles per hour. And taking a look at your 7-day forecast, which that title is wrong, but you can see normal high for this time of year is 48, so we start to warm up to normal degree temperatures by uh, Wednesday of 49. The same on Thursday is expected, so Mother Nature being pretty boring, rolling at the same forecast through Friday. But Saturday, we want 51 degrees, and by the end of the week, we dip down back to 49, which is normal for this time of year. But Mother Nature being pretty boring, 49, 48, 50. So we're staying yeah. in the three degree range radius area, yeah. but. Yeah. A lot of sunshine in that forecast. Yeah, which is nice. But I rather, yes. I know you and I rather have some snow. I don't know yes. about you, Zach. But I know, I, I take some snow. I really didn't mind the cold today, so yeah. you know, bring it's out It's gonna be snow. this cold. It might as well snow, right? Well, I know, Nate, you know, living with Nate, I get here, hey, it's snowing in Wisconsin all the time since Nate's from Wisconsin. But gotta rub it in. Oh, hey, it's snowing in Minnesota. You know, it just, he says it all the time. He just told me that like two seconds ago. Oh, really? Yeah, we got some snow packs going hey. around. I'm like, oh. Hey, well, nice. right. they came down you know, I, I got something pretty funny right now. Is um, it about Sam Schreier? No, no, oh, it's not okay. about okay. Sam Schreier. But it's actually about his mom. No, I <laughs> That's another time. That's another uh, time. That's still That's, there. But I, here I got, you know, the tanny dandy iPhone. And, um, okay. We're going to take as much time as possible tonight. Oh, because the Iowa basketball game's on. Oh, well, oh, and that's, that's yeah. the funny thing. The yeah. score is, you know, uh, CMU. I don't know who the heck they are. I don't know yeah. who that is. Is, is five. Is okay. five. Okay. And, and Iowa is four. But oh, you know, they're already uh, losing to some team I don't know. But, I mean, who knows Iowa basketball anyways. They Wait, what time? Too. So I'm just going to throw the iPhone over there because uh, <laughs> yeah. Iowa sucks. So go on. Well, we have another 45 minutes. We're 45 minutes. Yeah, so so who's well. their coach? I mean, <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> Sam Schreier just stepped out of the office. It's easy. Oh, you Sam? I don't Come on screen. <laughs> Sam's shaking Come his head. Come on screen. Right okay, all right. This all right. is the weather show. You know, yeah. I hope my iPhone's Ty broken. Uh, Tyler Roney was here last Wednesday. He was. And yeah. we got off topic. It seems like we, we get off topic a lot. We get too off topic. But, you know, we have to have those moments. So it's snow. Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> speak, getting away from the snow, I know severe weather season is almost done here. You know, you might have an ice blade, you know, strong or snow or two. But it is the seventh anniversary, I believe, of the tornado that went through northern Ames. Yes. And, well, and then there were some there was tornadoes. Um, how many days ago? The just Twin on cities. the Twin Cities, Saturday, Saturday. night. It was, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, it was yeah. two. Yeah. Two-week tornado. Yeah, two and then, then it snowed. Then it snowed an inch. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. within the Crazy next weather. 24 hours. So, I mean. November yeah. weather, you got to love it. Oh, it's it fantastic. Happens. I mean, but it was beautiful out there. So oh, it was. I mean, it was, like, weather for Well, the big hours, shocker was going was. from wearing shorts to yeah. all of a sudden wearing winter coats the next day. And layers and layers. And well, and you, you well yeah. I showed that meteor when we dropped 30 degrees. And I mean, the girls were outside. No, wearing, yeah, <laughs> the girls again, yeah, yeah, that's the first thing I you notice. <laughs> Lady Zach Malak has taken, just to let you know. So. He is. <laughs> but wear your scarves and hands. It, it really is nice. <laughs> Although Sam Charter is not taken. As we know. As we <laughs> yeah, we never know. I think uh, Sam Schreier's mom looks pretty good in a scarf and hands, too. <laughs> Just uh, breaking news. Oh. Right? Eyes on the sky. Yeah, Sam's going to come right back out here. He's going to have a word with us after the show. <laughs> uh, uh, so if we're not what? back, you wonder why. So exactly. did you see how bad I drew that cold front? Oh, man. That was, I well, mean, left-hand left cold front okay, drawing. Does but not we don't come to the school to become meteorologists to learn how to draw. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard some yelling in the back. We're just going to keep talking about random stuff until they get uh -huh. up here more. Speaking of John Colfrich, you know, Saturday, Zach and I were here. Yeah, no, we Saturday. showed the, the Boy Scout chapter yes, came here, here. And we showed the student of the Boy Scouts, and they had a lot of fun. We taught them about the green screen. And yeah. it, how do you, it, it's funny because, you know, we're just used to how the green screen works. Yeah. And they would, like, walk the opposite way, and it took a while. But then we, Nate and I performed, like, an actual show. Or a show. Yeah. show. But yeah. it was a lot of fun. They, they had a lot of fun. Josh Allen said, I think we convinced a couple of them to come be just So we, Sam Charlie may have some competition now. Well, good. I mean, that doesn't take yeah. much. Yeah. No. No. But, you know, uh, Facebook and Twitter. On, well, before that, though, okay, okay. I was told to give a shout-out. The Christy Carter, who is a meteorologist, who oh. is her birthday today. Happy birthday, Christy. So happy, birthday, happy birthday, Christy. Christy. If you are watching, you better be watching. 
always going to hear from us about it. <laughs> but yes, Kevin's sure in the background throwing a party to himself. <laughs> 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 but make sure you like us on Twitter and Facebook. Um, don't forget to email us your pictures. We of love any those. sorts of weather photos because we yes. will share them if you give them to us. And from He's our Monday strange. crew here, since you will not be seeing us on Wednesday, have a great Thanksgiving break, and we will be back in two weeks. But our winter show. Have a great week, folks. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs>